Hey, I'm Andrew Gatch for Audioholics. You know, these days it seems like everything requires an internet connection, right? Or at least everything having to do with home theater. And so what happens if your home isn't already wired for the internet? Or perhaps you're trying to stream a movie wirelessly and your network just can't cut it. Well, the Home Plug Power Line Alliance got together with a number of companies and they actually created a standard for networking over power lines. So now you can use your home's existing electrical system, which means, you know, all those outlets you've already got around, and uh, stream or network, right, audio, data, and video around your home. And it's actually not that expensive to do. We took some time recently to review Netgear's Powerline products, specifically the AV500 uh, adapter kit and also the AV200 wireless in extender. And now the reviews for this are going to be kind of short and they really have to be. It's so simple, it's ridiculous. In fact, all you've got to do to get internet from one end of your house to the other is take one unit, plug it in near your router and run an ethernet cable to it, and then decide where do you want the internet to go. Wherever that is, you plug another unit in and run the Ethernet cable out from that unit and you're done. Seriously, now you have just got high-speed Internet wherever you want it, whether it be the kitchen, the, the bedroom, wherever. And we do mean high-speed Internet. Uh, the AV500 kit sends data at up to 500 megabits per second, and that's faster than wireless B, G, and N. Really, it's that simple. There's no configuration necessary except for a one-time security setup to make sure that only the devices in your home are talking to each other. Now, you can do this via a physical button that's actually on each unit, or you can use a free software utility that's a bit cumbersome, but hey, it works. This system can actually be expanded to as many units as you want, and the security system can be reset as you add additional units. A kit with two AV500 units is going to cost you around $135, and that's not bad considering all the time and labor that it would take to physically run Ethernet cable from one end of your house to the other. Also, one good thing is that they power down when not in use. They go into standby, saving energy, so that's good. Now, if you're looking for a wireless solution, then you can look at Netgear's AV200 Wireless in Extender. All you got to do with that is plug it in, and it broadcasts a wireless signal that you can then connect to with a laptop or another wireless-enabled device. And the first time you connect to it, it allows you to set the SSID and password for the network, so you're good to go. Very simple. Now, each AV500 unit has three LEDs on it, one for power, one for the uh, power line uh, connection, and the other for the Ethernet link. And if all three of these lights are lit up, then you're good to go. The uh, power line connection light even has an orange and a red light that will come up in case there's a possibility of getting a better connection or throughput from using another outlet. But then again, in our tests, all we got was green lights, which means we had the best possible connection. Now, the wireless end kit does add a fourth LED on it for wireless status. And once again, all of those units have a physical button on them that uh, helps set up the security. That's it, except to say perhaps that Netgear does offer some additional units like the AV500 Plus, which actually has a power outlet on the device itself, meaning you can plug another device into it and still be extending your internet to wherever you want. Altogether, these devices and others like it are set to revolutionize the way that we connect our homes and our gear. It's worth taking a look at, especially considering that it beats the heck out of wireless internet, and it just may forever change the way that you look at networking.